Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about another bolo item. It's something odd and small that most people don't know what it is. It's actually just tiny little kittles, little kittles. Now I've showed these before. There's different versions and heights and size. There's some that walk and some that have, you know, movable parts. These are missed by everybody. This is something I pay a quarter for constantly. You get the right one of these, you're going to get a couple hundred bucks or better. If it's still in the package, you'll get even more. Some of these were done in like necklaces and charms. Again, the size is why most people miss these. I'll run into bunches of these. Again, because they're so small, so they'll show up in such small areas. Most people will pass them right by. They're just a rubbery little figure. Some are harder plastic and such forth. But Kittles, I have sold for a decade. Very, very uh, well as well, too. So we're going to go show you some Kittles. We're going to talk a lot about these because they cover every gambit of activity in the 60s when they came out from movies to musicians to toys to even Disney lines that were covered out on these. So let's cut on over and we'll talk about Kittles right now. Lucky Locket, Kittles, Lucky Locket, Kittles, Lucky Lockets are such fun. A tiny Kittles in each one you will find if you check a chain to go around your neck. Lucky Locket, Kittles, Lucky Locket, Kittles. Now these are Kittles, it's a Mattel product. Here's a perfect example. This is Alice in Wonderland. Again, if you didn't know what these were, you might have seen that rabbit sitting in a bag of toys on a wall and just thought it was some junk PVC or something like that. As you see, they're only just over an inch tall, a uh, couple inches at most for the most uh, average figure. So. They're not just dolls to some extent. I know you'd think they'd only be marketed to girls, but there's a lot of uh, toys of these versions or a lot of figures that would have been marketed to boys as well, too. Disney characters, movie characters, um, you know, rock stars and things like that as well. So let's show you some more. This one went for $151. These are from the 60s. You know, they haven't made them for years. They made a ton of them. They were very popular at one time. All small, all the same size as you see right here. So again, these size ones show up in bags. Most people don't think they're worth much. This is a good area that you better darn well pay attention to because this area can make you some good money. Next one, just another one. This is Peter Pan, uh, Little Kittle Peter. It's the same thing. It's Peter Pan, basically. You can see Tinkerbell as well, which is a smaller character. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, the, the uh, alligator from it as well, too. So perfect example. Now, this isn't the Disney version. There's several different versions. There's even storybook versions and, and storybook dolls that were even knocked off by another company, which we'll show you in just a few minutes here. I think Hasbro made some copies. Now, this is the Lunchbox Eatery. Um, 1965 Mattel. You can see the tray is, is really what the, the key part is in here. Is the tray usually doesn't show up. But there's board games, there's doll cases, there's doll houses, there's vehicles. Anything that came in any of the other doll lines they made for the kiddos. Just a lot smaller. Again, they're, they're fast rising in price. Most people miss them because of the size. So your size is working on your behalf. These show up in small areas. They show up in big bag lots of junk toys. And I can just get these and, and make my money out of it. Just a couple of them can make decent money. Let's move on here. Well, here's the three-story house. They actually have the box. Believe it or not, a lot of these 60s toys you can still find with the box. This has some extra ones with it. I don't believe those Disney are from the same, are from this line either at all. I think those are from another line of toys, if I'm not mistaken. They did make Disney characters too with this, but I, I honestly don't believe those are to this set. $495. Now here's some other examples of how they were done. Mostly if I see them still carded, they're carded like this. Some are in... Um, like uh, necklaces, and you open it up and there'll be one of the little figures. That was the size comparison. They had uh, necklaces and pendants and pins and watches and bracelets and soda bottles and ice cream cones and lollipops that all had a figure like this, a doll or whatever you'd want to call it inside of it. Here's one of the necklaces right here. This is animals. They made sci-fi sets for kids. They made fantasy sets, animals, um, you know, TV characters, the whole works. I Dream of Genie. Um, I think they even have a Munster set. It's kind of like Tinykins, if you know what those are by Marks. 
If you don't know what tinykins are by Marx, look up tinykins and Marx, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. That one was 250. Now here's one of the alien lines. They're they're typical of the the kittles. Cosmic kittle, greeny meanie. There's I think six or so of these kittles here. They have a vinyl um, like an outfit on on them. They're soft dolls. The hair feels typically like a vintage Barbie doll if it has hair. This line was one of the, the later ones, too, so these sell fairly well, even out of the package like this. Here's a perfect example of the larger ones. This was a little larger than some. This is for Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels. Now, they made a bunch of different rock star ones, believe it or not. They go for decent money. If you can find them sealed, they go for a horrendously uh, a high amount of money. I've seen some in an eight, nine hundred range sealed in the box for these. So they're they're going up really quick on these. So I would really pay attention to them. Garage sale is starting. I find more of these at garage sales and just junk boxes than I find them anywhere else. So garage sales. Estate sales would be second, and then my local live auctions would be third. Now, here is some of the jewelry. Jewelry kittles were extremely popular. Um, and this is just a perfect example. Now, this isn't one of the most popular dolls or figures, but it's still awesome to find it on the package. This is what I'm talking about. They, they made a, a useful thing so you could carry it on a necklace and you wouldn't lose it because, again, they were small. So they're, they're combating the smallness was by making them come in a container that they could store them in there, and you'd want to store them in there because it was the neat factor. It was almost like a, a transformer of the day because not only were some of these like a container for them, but then you could do something else with them or move them around and turn them into a playset when you opened them. This one's 325. Now here's a storybook. They came in like a like a little booklet kind of thing that opened up. Some of them had houses and buildings and sets that would come with it. This is Cinder Riddle. Uh, just again, a takeoff of Cinderella. And they have all these little parts. Even the little parts and pieces for these can go for money. Just like Barbie, you can sell an outfit for a little kittle. Some of the outfits go for 50, 60 bucks. Some of these little accessories like the broom can go for 75, 100 bucks. I'm going to show you an accessory in a few minutes here that goes for almost $200 from these. And it's just random items that you would never know that's what they are. Once you realize the size on certain items, you, you'll be able to take a better judgment on what things are. Like if you find a chair and it's really tiny, it could be a couple things, but a lot of the times I run into Kittle furniture and it's just misidentified and I pick it up for nothing and I can sell it for a real high return on my investment. So this one's 209. Again, it's open. It's missing some parts as well, it looks like. Here's just another one of the necklaces. Again, there's a whole circus set. So there's other items. I believe an elephant as well and then things along that line. Playful Panther. They were cute. You know, cutesy things, things that people like to play with. They market them towards girls, a large number of them, but a lot of boys played with them because they had characters from movies that people liked. Now, here's a, just an assortment of what they came in. The bottom are, are popsicles, lollipops. Then you've got ice cream cones. You've got pins, pendants, and then the loose dolls up on top. There's tons of these available, and I'm telling you, tons of them. You get the right one, they're worth some money. They take up such a small amount of space, most people think they're not worth much. They think they're just garbage, like five-and-dime store dolls. That is not the case anymore. Lucky Lockett, Kittle, Lucky Lockett, Kittle. Here's a storybook kittle now. They weren't all carded like this. Some came in different boxing configurations and such forth that had other items with it than just the little booklet and the figure. Um, just another perfect example. They do have rooted hair just like the Barbies. 200 on that last one and 200 on this one too. This is just another example of a specific character. There's a ton of these. You'll find them nude or with with clothing. You'll find several different sizes, the mini ones, the larger ones. Now, I can't remember the name if it's just a kittle is the large one and a little kittle is the, the small one. Either way, kittles. These are kittles in general. And if you just type in kittles, 
you can list them that way very easily and they're all going to sell. I have never had a problem selling a kiddo right off the bat within the first week. Barbies sometimes will sit until you get the right buyer, but most every kittle I get, because they don't show up very often, goes quickly. Now, I'm not saying they're that rare, just people just don't think to list them or they don't mess with them. Obviously, if it's in the box, they're going to sell it, but the little ones loose on their own, mixed within a bag of something else, that's where I score my biggest profits, honestly, on these. 200 as I said, basically on that one. Here's another one for 225 it, It's just the character and what comes with it. Those little combs sometimes go, go for 5 and 10 bucks, just because they're scarce, the little items. When I buy big lots of dolls and things, I'll try and sort them out by what they go to. And many times in a Barbie lot, just a Barbie lot, I'll find little kiddle items as well, too, because most kids had a couple little kills if they had Barbies. Here's a Jungle Book. Now, this is a Storykins. This is actually a takeoff by Hasbro. It's basically the same thing. This is the front runner to like a modern day Star Wars action figure, the three and three quarters. These aren't quite that big, but it's basically where it was heading the toy market from what I've seen. Just another example. This one came with a record. Some did, some didn't. These all fit into the Littles category. And again, as you see, they literally wrote Littles Kittles in the title. Technically, I do not believe you would call that that. And I know it's not in the price guide as far as I know. Now, next one here is a specific item. Now, this is just an accessory to this. I've had the wagon, not this color, unfortunately. This is the color you want. There's some items, just like every other toy line, that were only available in a certain catalog. And you could tell the difference by the color. Now, this may look identical to the other versions, but the color is the key to some of these. So that was 180 bucks basically, on that one. Just another one here, but this is a Sears exclusive, just like I was talking about. Many items back in the day, 50s, 60s, even in the 70s and 80s, Sears offered exclusives through their catalog. That drew you in, wanting your you know, to bug your parents to get you to go to just Sears to get your toys. GC Penney's had some exclusive items like that too, but Sears was much more known for doing that type of thing. It was a marketing ploy. It worked for them. They could pay the company who made the toys a little bit extra to do it, to make custom ones and things like that. And then it made them scarce. Even a standard figure that was available at Sears wouldn't have been available anywhere else except through that catalog. So that's the next one here. Another one here. Again, there's a ton of them, a ton of different lines. Hundreds upon hundreds of these figures exist. Here's just another example. Perfume set. Again, they were made to look like a, a toy that was just more than a toy. Some of them are flowers and cupcake figures that they've made in other lines and things along the line. A ton of these. These are real nice ones to get. I've had most of all of these. At least a couple of each one of these. I've had a, probably a good couple hundred kittles in the last few years, in all honesty. Just another example of the pins and the brooches and things along that line. There's a necklace on the far right. And then the actual same cologne bottles as well. Now, this was one of my favorite ones, and I can't I always mix up the name on this, Upsy Downsy. Uh, maybe this was a TV show, I think, maybe a short-lived TV show, like uh, The Crofts or something like that, um, from the same makers. Again, they, they did whatever they could to make money, just like any other company did. $175, which is actually cheap for these in my book. Something like this, I might have been lucky enough to score for 10 or 15 bucks. in all honesty. That's about the average I'd pay for something like this. Because most people think they're small. A lot of people don't even realize they're that old. Here's just a Disney version. Now, again, they made Storybook and Disney. I believe this is another one of the Storykins. Yes, this is a Storykins, which is basically um, the same thing, just by a different company. This one has the record as well, too. 160 bucks basically, on that one. Here is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Um, that is actually Dick Van Dyke's uh, character there. I don't remember the lady in it, but I do remember the movie very well. It was a musical. Benny Hill was in it, and I always liked Benny Hill back in the day. If you don't know who Benny Hill is, type in Benny Hill. Very funny British comedian. He's been in a ton of things. Um, nowadays, I don't know if it would be something most people would actually want to watch anymore. It had some more adult humor um, in it as well, but perfect example of these. This is why people miss them. The little tiny figures are much smaller than the one I showed you. And most people don't realize they're characters. So some of the characters can go for some good money, like I Dream of Genie or Bewitched or something like that. I relate these more to like uh, Migos than anything else. And Migos technically aren't dolls. They are, but they aren't. 
uh, just because many people, not just girls, collected these. I know they marketed them for girls, but, you know, there are many boys who played with these because they liked the toys just as well as, you know, the girls did. They were neat. They came with accessories and things like that, too. So 150 on this. And I just have one more here. Now, this is the soda bottle. The first kittle I ever got was actually in a soda bottle just like this. And there's knockoffs of these, too. The knockoffs sell almost as well. This is a, um, I guess, one of the more generic packages that I've seen. Some of them are much more fanciful than this. Has a few issues on it, too, but 175 bucks. So, you know, you've got to keep an eye out for this. You've got to branch out. These are going up fast in prices. I've seen the prices steadily go up. I still find them all the time, and I do mean all the time. If you get out, you see enough stuff, you go to enough auctions, estate sales and garage sales, you're going to run into these. Are you going to be the one that's going to buy them or not? That's the problem. That's your choice at this point. I find them for a quarter all the time. Little bins and baskets up by the front counter of stores constantly. So just keep that in mind. Most people miss these. Well, there you go. That's another item that I look for. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.